Welcome to today's online presentation class. My dear students of HSC first year. Today, this is your Hilal Sir, Muhammad Hilaluddin, Associate Professor, English, Government, Haji Muhammad Mohsin College. Today, I am going to take your class. Our today's topic is drawn from Unit 12, Environment and Nature. And our today's lesson is Lesson 5, Kuakata, Daughter of the Sea. Okay, after the class, my dear students, you will be able to do three things. That means your outcome of the of today's lesson. Today's uh, lesson will be three. First, you will be able to learn the meaning of some words, some new words. Second, you will be able to answer questions based on this particular passes and finally you will be able to make a flow chart from your reading of the passes so this is the passes we have before you kuakata locally known as shagor konna daughter of the sea is a rare scenic spot located on the southern most tip of Bangladesh. Dear learners, before we complete reading of this passage, it will be beneficial for us. We will be benefited if we first try to go through the meaning of some new words, some new words which you will encounter in this passage. First one, a picturesque. The second one, shimmering. So, picturesque. The word picturesque means scenic, Charming, graphic, pictorial, vivid. Our next word is shimmering. The word shimmering refers to shining, glittering, sparkling, chok choke. Picturesque bolte amra bujai, chobir moto shundur, oti shundur. So the third one, expense. Expense means stress, extent, spread, breadth, domain, territory, aspen. और तो हम रजोदी छोजा बांग्लाई बोली तारले रोत्तो दराच्छे एलाका शामुद्री के एलाका के इखने एक्सपांस बोला होता है विस्तृतो एलाका विस्तृतो एलाका The next word is sanctuary Sanctuary refers to shelter Refuse, asylum, abode, haven, habitation, etc. Tale sanctuary shabdir amra bangla atto bolbo abhoyaranno. Nirapod asroy, nongor. The next word to 
learn is vibrant. The word vibrant refers to lively, vigorous, bright. Amra jeta bolbo shetoche jibonto shajib ujjal. The last word for us is indigenous. The meaning is native, inborn, inept, local, tribal. So we have come across here six new words which will definitely enrich the horizon of our knowledge by enriching our stock of vocabulary. Okay, my dear student, now we will again go back to the passage which we are going to read today in front of you. Kuakata, locally known as Shagorkonna, is a rare, rare means a very uh, exceptional, uh, which is not easily found, which is not common, extraordinary, scenic spot, the spot which offers tourism, which offers natural beauty, located on the southernmost tip, tip means end, is, Kinara of Bangladesh. Kuakata in Latachapli Union under Kalapara Police Station of Potuakhali District is about 30 km in length and 6 km in breadth. So this is the uh, area of Kuakata. It is 70 km from Potuakhali District headquarters and 320 km from Dhaka. An excellent combination of picturesque natural beauty, sandy beaches. So picturesque we have already encountered. Picturesque means charming natural beauty. Scenic, the word which we have come across in the first, very first line. Scenic. Scenic means picturesque. So picturesque means scenic, wonderful, charming, natural beauty, sandy beaches, blue sky, and the shimmering expanse. The shimmering means a glittering, glowing, sparkling expanse of water, means area of water, stretch of water of the Bay of Bengal and the evergreen forest make Kuakata a much sought after tourist destination. That means the tourists are very much interested in going to, in traveling to Kuakata. The name Kuakata takes its origin from the story of a kua or well dug on the seashore by the early Rakhine settlers, inhabitants of the settlers means they are inhabitants, migrants for collecting drinking, drinking water. The Rakhines had landed on Kuakata coast after being expelled. Expelled means forced to leave. Expelled from uh, Arakan by the Mughals. 
following the first well it became a tradition to dig wells in the neighborhood means nearby area of rakhine homesteads dwelling houses for fresh water supply so uh, this activity has a practical or pragmatic value kuakata is one of the unique spots which allow allow means permit a visitor a tourist to watch both the sunrise and the sunset from the beach so it's a very special or rare or unique facility provided by kuakata sewage this perhaps makes kuakata one of the world's most attractive beaches the long the long and wide beach of kuakata has a typical typical means conventional common familiar familiar natural setting pattern location formation this sandy beach slopes means declines slides gently into the bay and bathing bathing there is as pleasant means as joyous as is swimming or diving kuakata is truly a virgin beach virgin means unspoiled beach and a sanctuary for migratory winter birds migratory birds the guest birds which come to our country during the winter season fishing boats plying means moving in the bay of bengal with colorful sails surfing waves and the lines of coconut trees the series of coconut trees add to the add to the means contribute to the vibrant colors of the beautiful fresh refreshing colors of kuakata the indigenous my dear students we have already uh, learned that the word indigenous means innate natural native the natural native culture of the rakhine community and 100 year old buddhist temples indicate the age old the age old means the old tradition and cultural heritage heritage means inheritance uttaradhikar of this area kuakata is a holy land for the hindus and buddhists each year thousands of devotees worshipers come here to attend the festivals the uh, celebrations of uh, festive events rash punnima and maghi punnima on these two days pilgrims take the holy bath and enjoy going to traditional fair okay my dear uh, learners we have already 
uh, gone through this uh, passage and this passage has taught us has given us an opportunity to learn the meaning of some unfamiliar words new words so uh, our going through this passage has enriched our vocabulary okay let's move to the next stage the next stage is that we can evaluate our understanding of the passages comprehension of the passages if we attempt to answer the given five questions so uh, let's read uh, five questions what is the local epithet of kuakata epithet means term number 2 what are the charms of kuakata charms means beauties attractions features attractive features number 3 what special privilege does a tourist enjoy at kuakata privilege means special advantage special right special facility the how does kuakata get its name and our final question why do pilgrims visit kuakata why do visitors visit kuakata so these are the five questions now let us uh, try to uh, look at the answers we have prepared for you okay the first qu- question was what is the local epithet of kuakata so just the word sagar kanna within bracket the daughter of the sea is the local epithet of kuakata people of that area no kuakata as the daughter of the sea okay our uh, uh, and we can uh, uh, ans- give answer in another way local people call kuakata sagar kanna daughter of the sea our second questions second question was what are the charms the charms of kuakata what are the charms of kuakata yes for that we have to give a catalog a list of attractive features of kuakata first one sandy beaches second blue sky third shining shining a spread of water of the bay of bengal and finally the lush lush green the deep green forest all these are the attractions or charms of kuakata so we will move to the next question what is the privilege of a tourist while visiting kuakata at kuakata a tourist can have the privilege of enjoying both the sunrise and sunset from the beach our question d was from where we got get from where did we get the name kuakata kuakata stems stems means gets receives its name from the story of a kuwa or well excavated means dug on the sea shore by the early rakhine diaspora diaspora means migrants settlers for collecting drinking water my dear students we will have our last question 
and the answer to question e is that pilgrims visit kuakata to have bath and to enjoy going to traditional fair okay my dear students next what we should remember what we should keep in our mind our we should while answering the questions we should have some points to ponder first point is that our answer should be precise and to the point secondly we should answer in our own words that means we should maintain originality creativity we should not use verbatim or word for word from the given text that would undermine our score finally our answer should not be unnecessarily lengthy or irrelevant now my dear students as we have uh, learned some words as we have answered some uh, short questions now we will have a flow chart for our practice make a flow chart showing the features of kuakata beach first one is done for you so what is the first one the first one is picturesque natural beauty then we have to fill in uh, we have to fill in the number 2 3 4 5 6 this extra five points of information to be given so let us look at the answer the first one is a noun phrase so all our questions all our answers belong to the group called noun phrase sandy beaches blue sky fourth point shimmering expanse of water fifth point evergreen forest and final point is that diving facility so we have maintained all the rules in order to get the uh, perfect answer now we would have again some points to ponder while answering flow chart so while answering flow chart we should follow the style of the given clue the one that has been done for you on the question paper number 2 we should use word or phrase or fraction of a sentence not a complete sentence to answer the flow chart and finally we should avoid articles and verb auxiliary verbs in flow chart hope my dear students you have read at least some benefit from today's online class so that's all for today stay home stay safe observe the rules of health so that you can avoid uh, the deadly disease corona covid 19 thank you everyone